All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome in. I'll give TikTok a minute to load up. We have a ton of sales to pack up today. Um, let's see, 27 plus four is 31. We have 34 orders to pack up today. What's up, Whips? Whips, your order is already gone. Well, you're you're not order. You're, you're the winner. Yours is already gone. I don't know if the mailman's came yet, but it's sitting outside. What's good, everybody? Sorry for the late uh, live. We were doing some errands this morning, and then, uh, yeah, we still got to ship. And I shipped out everything last night from the Whatnot Show. Now I have to ship out everything from uh, my regular orders. So I have a ton, a ton to ship, like a ton. So I'm probably going to be ignoring chat for a little bit. I'll, I'll try to check in with you guys every now and then, but I got tons, tons to list. Can't wait yet. It's an awesome one. I showed it off last night on live, so... You won, and then Joy won the spreadsheet. Joy hasn't hit me back yet. Hopefully, she does today, and I can send her the spreadsheet information. So let me tilt you guys just a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better, a little bit easier to read, too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. If you're new here, hit the follow button, top left-hand corner. What I do on this channel is I buy stuff cheap. I resell online for profit. That's what I do for a full-time job. We are live on TikTok and YouTube right now, so if you guys want to hop over to YouTube, feel free to. What's up, Trisha? She's over on YouTube. Um, but, yeah, we have a ton to pack up today. I've already packed up like 20, I think it was like 27 orders last night from whatnot. And now I got another 30, what I say, 34 orders from eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So 100, 100%. Did you pick the Poshmark issue? No. Do those run big? Yes, they do run a little bit bigger. So you probably, you'll probably fit in. You'll be good. You'll be good. All right, let's go ahead and start it out. We're going to start with a pair of Beyond Yoga leggings. Um, we picked these up for, let me open my spreadsheet really quick. I think it's up for $5.35, and these sold on Mercari for $28. After fees, shipping, cost of goods, we make $11.76 in profit. Good morning, Tej. What's up? Appreciate everybody hopping in. Everybody tap that screen. Send over the likes. I'd appreciate it. Trav is over on um, YouTube as well. Appreciate you hopping on over. I've already printed out my label. I purchased this off of Pirate Ship. I always get my labels from Mercari on Pirate Ship. How's Kayla feeling? Kayla, how are you feeling? I do feel better. She feels better. She's over there. She's working. Can't really see her on the angle I'm using, <laughs> but there you go. That's her. She's oh, feeling better. There. She is feeling better. All right, next up, we have a Peter Millar shirt. This is a brand new tag Peter Millar shirt. This one was listed for a while. It wasn't selling, so I did a D-list. I relisted it, and I used a new set. Appreciate you, Trisha, for the five. Um, I used a uh, new listing, took new photos and everything. Um, this one I paid eight dollars and three cents for. Eight oh three. That's pretty crazy. I guess I did pay eight oh three for this. No, I didn't. There's no way. Yeah, I paid eight oh three for this. Sold for thirty six bucks after fee shipping, cost of goods. I make eighteen dollars and eighty six or sixty eight cents. Glad to hear you. Yep. Those bags you ship in, where do you buy them? They're linked in my bio. If you want to purchase any products that I use on a regular basis, YouTube, they're linked in my bio, uh, in the description of the video. TikTok, they're in the link tree link in my bio. All products that I use on a regular basis are all linked there, including the spreadsheet that I use. That's the one I'm reading my numbers off of to give to you guys. Um, all that information is linked in my bio. All right, that one is shipped out. Actually, I got to grab a bucket. <clears throat> My mailman's going to hate me today. He is going to hate me today. If you had a return, um, do you have customer pay shipping? On some items, I pay return shipping. It depends on the item. On heavier items, I make buyer pay return shipping. So somebody said something bad. Somebody said something really bad. They got booted. Next up, I got a uh, uh, women's. This is a women's Nike sleeveless shirt. I got this in a bulk buy. I paid $6.12 for this. It sold for 36 bucks, which is pretty crazy. Um, or no, 32 bucks, 32 bucks after fee shipping cost of goods. I make $17 and 35 cents. Throw this into a poly bag. Again, those are linked in my bio. If you want to purchase them, Amazon links. If you do buy through that link, it is a, it is an affiliate link. So I do get a kickback, but it doesn't cost you any more. So what's up Kings. Appreciate you hopping on in. We're shipping out all my clothing stuff, you know, Kings cause clothing doesn't sell. Kings be bad. He doesn't like clothing very much. All right. Next up. We have a Jay Lindbergh shirt. This is actually a really bad one. Uh, appreciate the tiny diny. Jay Lindbergh shirt. I'm probably never going to pick up this brand again in coats because it doesn't really sell well. The the um, the golf wear sells well, but for some reason the coats don't. And I thought this would sell a lot better. I paid $19.26 for this. It was in Tennessee. Um, sold it for $25 on Poshmark. I only made $0.74. Cents. 
I will never pick up a Jay Lindbergh piece again. But that's okay, because the rest of our sales on Poshmark were fire. They're really good. All right, this is going to go into a Tyvek envelope. These I get free from USPS.com. I ship out all of my eBay orders or my Poshmark orders in these Tyvek envelopes because you get them for free, so you might as well use free poly mailers. Appreciate you, Mary. I wanted to see what the eggs look like, so appreciate you. There was a bunch of like uh, holiday holiday gifties. That's pretty cool, and I like that one. Little eggs popped up all over my screen. You I missed, missed it. I literally missed all the gifts. You missed it. I missed it. It was good. What's up, Jamie? Appreciate you hopping in. All right, that one is shipped. Next up, we have a pair of Sem for All Mankind men's pants. I picked these up for four dollars and twenty-eight cents. They sold for twenty-eight bucks on Poshmark after fees, shipping, cost of goods. I make eighteen dollars and twelve cents. Kayla is feeling better. She is doing a lot better. She is doing better. Appreciate all the support last night on whatnot, by the way. You guys killed it. Uh, the people, some of you went absolutely crazy. Um, the, the three people that bought the reseller boxes also bought like six other items. So made shipping an absolute pain in my neck because I had to find huge boxes to stick all this stuff in. But we definitely appreciate it. Thank you so much for everybody that came out on whatnot last night. Um, tons of great deals given away. Um, we had a lot of fun. So next week, hopefully Kayla's feeling better. She'll get more on camera next week. But this week she wasn't feeling too good. So we didn't want to put her on camera too much. All right. I've already printed out my label for this one too. Um, this one goes in a Tyvek envelope as well. Use your free supplies if you have them. Don't use your poly mailers. I used to use poly mailers all the time. So what's up, um, MP? Next up is uh, a men's untucked shirt. This is a little bit of a crappy sale too. Um, this untucked shirt sold for 30 bucks. I paid up for this. I don't know why I paid so much. This has been listed forever. Paid $26 and 74 cents. I actually lost $2 and 74 cents on the sale, but that's okay. I've had this thing listed for like two years. So I'm glad to see it finally gone. Glad to see it gone. I'm, I'm getting rid of a lot of my older listings. I'm basically just selling them at cost or a little bit of a loss. So that way I can free up some uh, inventory space. What measurements do you put in your short sleeve shirts? If you want to know my measurements that I put in, I have uh, my eBay store linked in my bio. Just find one of my short sleeve listings and you can see all the measurements and how I do my listings. Um, I do a, I'll just tell you really quick. I do a pit to pit, a shoulder to shoulder and a top to bottom. Really, really easy measurements. It doesn't take too long. That's what she's actually doing in the background right now. She's doing some listings. All right. So again, this goes into a Tyvek envelope. Tyvek right here. All right. Last Poshmark sale is a really, really good one. These are a pair of men's North Face Hedgehog boots. Had these listed really high because there wasn't any listed in this size. Um, and there wasn't really many listed even in this model. Um, I paid $13 for these at Salvation Army, and these sold for $85 bucks on Poshmark. So after fees, shipping, cost of goods, I make $55. Bucks. Appreciate the uh, follow your. Thank you so much. I'm going to throw these into a um, priority mail shoebox. You get these free from USPS.com as well. Remember, always use free materials. Don't pay for materials. It's pretty dumb to pay for your stuff if you can get it for free. All right, I got to turn YouTube really quick. Do, 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 do. There we go. YouTube can probably see a little bit better now. I actually got to lower this desk too, so I can actually reach. I'll pick you guys back up in a second. I'm trying to get it quick, so that way we can get as much of this as we can out before the mailman comes, because he is on the way. He should be here in like 30 minutes to an hour. I'm just going to throw these boots in there. I don't put my boots in like anything. I don't wrap them up or anything like that. I just throw them in the box. They should be good. Shouldn't have any issues with them. And they should fit really snug in there. Squish her down a little bit farther. Man, these boots are, boots are massive. I don't know why it's not sliding in there correctly. Oh, I see. This thing is keeping it. There it goes. A little bit more. All 
right. No padding needed either. How's Kayla doing? She's doing better. Everybody's asking about you. Oh. That was Sonia. Wifey. Wifey. Oh, wifey. All right. That one is done. How do you get eBay tape? I have a link in my bio if you want to purchase it from eBay. It is a little bit more expensive than your average tape because it has eBay branding on it. But um, I do have a link in my bio if you want to purchase it from eBay. Um, eBay tape is for registered. No, you can buy. Anybody can buy it. But if you have a store subscription, you do get a um, code every month to use, like a, um, a discount code. It's not every month, every quarter for eBay store supplies. But uh, it is more expensive. Just understand, you're not you're going to be paying up for some tape. You might as well just go on Amazon. I think I have Amazon tape linked in my bio too. Just use regular tape. Only buy the eBay tape if you get the quarterly coupon. And a new quarter just began. Yes. So if you guys have your quarterly coupons and you haven't bought your supplies yet, you can just go straight through my link. Just click my link in my bio. It'll take you right to the store, and you can just buy your supplies there instead of trying to finagle your way through the eBay system. Just click on my link. Anytime you guys need your supplies. Just click on my link and go to the, go to the thing. New coupon new quarter, 100%. Are you shipping the ones from Whatnot? No, I did that last night. Uh, I was up till like 1 a.m. shipping Whatnot orders. So these are all um, non-Whatnot orders. All my, um, I had like 26 or 27 Whatnot orders, and then I have 34 eBay, Poshmark, Mercari orders. So again, my mailman's going to hate me. He's got like 60 orders to pick up today. All right, let's go ahead and start shipping out eBay orders. First up is a men's Vineyard Vines 2XL 100% linen shirt. I tell you guys to pick these up all the time because they sell super fast. This one sold in a day. Listed for I paid eight dollars and three cents for it. It sold for thirty two bucks. Sold in literally a day. I had it listed for thirty five, and somebody sent me a thirty two dollar offer. I was like, hell yeah, I will take that right away. Did you get your Poshmark resolved? I haven't yet. I think they messaged me back, so I have to look at it after the live. But to be honest, they're probably just going to send me an automated message. I really wish Poshmark had a support team that you could actually call so I can actually walk some someone through the uh, issue that I'm having. Um, is eBay having a store better than just listing? No, if you only have if you have less than 250 um, listings, I think that an eBay store is not really needed anymore. But if you get over 250 listings, then you can start getting a store subscription and then you get free listings every month. Obviously, you have to pay for a store, but you also get that quarterly coupon too once you get the second store subscription. I have the second one, I believe. I get 10,000 listings a month for free. So, yeah, I would say that if you're getting over that 250 mark, maybe it, it's time to get a store. I don't know why eBay does a store, to be honest. They should get rid of that. Um, this one is going to Doral, Florida. Doral, Florida, $4.74 is what it's shipping for. Uh, would you pick up a coup vest? If it has like crazy embroidery, probably yes. Only if it has crazy embroidery, though. Not a, not a basic one. Found a Lambswell L. Bean um, quarter sweater for $5.99 yesterday. Let's go. Abby, appreciate the follow. That's awesome. Those uh, those Lambswell ones can go for uh, pretty good money, depending on the size. There we go. That one is shipped. Next up, another item that sold super fast. I didn't even get to put it away into inventory. This is a pair of men's, size 36, Patagucci pants, Patagonia. Uh, paid $10.70 for these, and they sold in a day for $35. So a really, really quick sale on that one. You got to get a store on eBay. Those coupon helps for your supplies. It does. It definitely does. Uh, but I would say you don't necessarily need it for the supplies. Um, the supplies are already overpriced anyway. So this is going to go first class because it weighs a pound. It weighs just under a pound. So it still goes first class. And it's shipping to Alabama for six bucks. Six doll hairs. Where are your best days and times to go to thrift stores? I go, it depends on your thrift stores in your area. The one thrift store we go to on Wednesday, they change the tags over and that's the best day for us. So how many times do you sell this weekend? Um, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, I did 34 sales. And then we had a whatnot show last night and we sold basically almost everything out on the whatnot show. Um, I think we had like, I want to say it was like 27 or 30 orders. I don't, I don't remember. It was a lot. I was up late last night, but those are already packed up and outside. Total, total numbers of sales just on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari was 1600 plus. It was $1,614.89 for eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, not including whatnot sales. We had an amazing weekend. All right, just making sure this still weighs a pound. This is going for six bucks to Alabama. 
probably going to sound silly, uh, but what is whatnot? Link in my bio, sign up through whatnot. It is an auction site. So it's basically like this, except I'm selling stuff and it starts at a dollar. We have really good stuff. If you use the link in my bio to sign up, you get $15 to spend for free. That's it. I mean, there's no catch. You just sign up for it and you get $15 to spend for free. And then you can go across. There's women's people selling women's items, men's items. There's people selling cards, like trading cards, like all kinds of stuff on whatnot. So um, yeah, use the link in my bio, sign up. You get $15 spent for free. You might as well just do it just to get 15 bucks. It's free money. They just give me the code. They say, sign people up, give them 15 bucks. I said, okay, I'll do that. Got no problem. All right, I got to grab those really quick. All right, let's pack this up. I probably can squeeze this into a box. This is a Mount Hardware jacket. By the way, we did on Whatnot yesterday, we did a bunch of Mount Hardware pieces that were brand new with tags. Um, this is an example of one that was similar to the one we ran. This is actually a puffer jacket. Um, we paid $57.77 for this uh, retail arbitrage, and this one sold for $113. We ran um, Mount Hardware pieces that retailed for $180, and I think the most expensive one out of those went for like $50. So that person's going to make money. And we got no problem with it because we have an excess of inventory that we're just trying to blow out. So, um, yeah, Mount Hardware pieces. We're on what, yesterday's Whatnot show, which is pretty crazy. My mom has been telling me this for years. Uh, we have a last chance in Arizona. What is the last chance? I, I think I know what that is. What is last chance? Store? Is it a thrift store? Um, where did I put all of those boxes? Did you move the box over in here? Oh, it's okay. boxes. There was a pile of boxes here. Did I move them away? I had them over here. Oh, there they are. I knew they were over here somewhere. I should be able to fit this in here. I hope I make money. Scott, you will make money. You will make money. Last chance is a Nordstrom return store. Oh, I wish we had one of those. Oh, I know. I, yeah, I've seen a video about that. Nordstrom return store. I wish we had one of those. That would be good. You could find a lot of good stuff at Nordstrom. If they ever do their sales days. Whew. I've made lots of money from Nordstrom. All right, so this is just going to go into this priority mail box. This is a regional box. You can now use this for regular priority. It fits this jacket perfectly. And then I'm just going to seal her up. She's ready to go. Paid eight dollars for a pair of Hudson jeans. Retail for two oh five. Let's go. That's insane. Was that at that store? That's crazy. Uh, this weighs one pound, four ounces. So I'm going to plug that into eBay and this box is 10 by seven by five. So I'm going to plug that into eBay 10 by seven by five. And this is going to go priority mail. Yes. That last chance. Okay, cool. I want to see, I, I might type that into Google and see if they have one of those around us. So I created whatnot three days ago. $15 is $15. Darn. Yeah. Yeah. Should use my link. He would have got, he would have got, uh, Free money, free money. All right, this one's shipping out for $12.78. It is going a little farther away. That's why it's a little bit more expensive, but don't use flat rate. Um, this would be more expensive, but I use a, a medium flat rate box. It would have cost me 14 bucks. This one only cost me $12.78. Short shop there, but it's worth it. Yeah, I can imagine. There's probably like tons of different stuff on the rack. It's not curated like a normal uh, Nordstrom store is, but still you can find some crazy deals. Appreciate the follow, Jen. Appreciate everybody following. If you're new here, hit the follow button. I'm shipping out some orders. We had a total just on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari this weekend. We had a total of $1,600 plus in sales. So if you want to learn how to do this, I got a ton of content here on TikTok. Give me a follow. Watch the stuff. We got tons of free content, literally free information out there. Uh, Shaz, appreciate the follow. Um, Dias, appreciate the follow. Dias, Dias. I don't know how to read. I'm just a dumb guy that sells you shit online. Next up, we got a men's foot joy polo. These have been selling really well for me, not for crazy money, but they have been selling fast. Um, I actually did a delist and a relist of this one because it was listed for a while. Um, I paid $7.47 for this and it sold for $23.95. And again, not a crazy profit, but golf season is upon us. So if you have foot joy and Peter Millar and Travis Matthew, list it now because uh, people are out buying it. So cha-ching, Karen, appreciate the follow. I'm making a mess and I don't even care. Did you throw that other bag away? Yeah, it was pretty full. Yeah, it was pretty full. Let's get another one. All right, this is shipping out for 10 ounces, going for $5.04. $5.04. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop in the chat. I'll try to answer as many as I can as I'm shipping. 
I do have to get this done within like the next 30 minutes before this mailman gets here. Otherwise, your boy is going to have to drive to the post office, and I hate driving to the post office. All right, next up, I guess we'll ship both of these out. This person bought two of these. These are um, men's um, Tommy Bahama shirts. I got two of these going to the same person, same size going to the same person. I don't know why they bought both, but I don't care. Um, on eBay, what you have to do, um, I have to... Well, I have to list these or put these together. So I have to ship them together, which means I have to combine the combine the orders. So that's what I'm doing right now really quick. And then these are going to go padded flat rate, most likely. I think they're over a pound. Actually, no, they're still going to go first class. Let's go. Um, let me throw them in a poly bag really quick. These I paid up for. I paid like 32 bucks each for these, and they sold for 80 bucks together. What do you use to track inventory? I put my inventory numbers in my custom SKU on eBay. And then I use Jason Hayes spreadsheet um, to calculate my profit and loss. If you're interested in that spreadsheet, I do have it linked in my bio. Use code THANKSWAYNE10. You get 10% off. It's an amazing spreadsheet. Um, I gave away one last night on live to, to subscribers too. So Joy got a free spreadsheet last night. Um, they're $40 for the premium version. And if you use my code, you get 10% 10, uh, 10 off. So you get it for 36 bucks. What price do you post um, per sale on eBay by weight? What price do you post per sale? I, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, I just put in my weight and dimensions on eBay when I list my items. So I hope that helps. So first class is under a pound, only on eBay, only commercial rates. If you go to the post office, it's 13 ounces and under, but eBay, you're allowed to go up to a pound. It's a, it's a commercial rate. All right, this one's at 15 ounces. So we'll just plug that into eBay. Thank goodness it's, it's nice and lightweight because it's gonna save me a little bit on shipping. It's going to ship for $6 and 22 cents. Um, how do you get to new attack Tommy Bahamas? I purchased them from a retail store It was retail arbitrage, which means I go to a retail store, either go in or purchase online um, and have them shipped to my front door. It's really awesome because you don't have to leave your house. You can literally shop from your couch. I always like shopping from the couch. <coughs> How do you know the weight uh, before you package? So most shirts I know are going to weigh about 10 ounces. You can literally like, as you do this more and more, you can literally like hold the item and know about what it weighs. But typically when I list a shirt, I'm going to put it in as 10 ounces and I give free shipping. And then I just change the, uh, the weight after I'm done. Um, yeah, it's not too hard. How's wife feeling? She's doing better. She's over there working. She's working hard. You're looking to have a good partner there. Yeah, she's getting, she's getting tons of work done. We had to do a lot of uh, errands this morning, and then uh, that's why I'm so late. I get starting up this, so luckily she's she's over there getting some work done. Uh, what percentage do you sell retail arbitrage? It depends on the item. There's some items that I'll pay up for because I know they're going to sell quick, and there's other items that I won't pay up. I'll try to get really cheap, so that way I make a bigger margin. So, How is it free? How is what free? For shipping, shipping is fr I give it free to the customer, but I have to charge for the label. So it's not I don't get the label for free. I have to buy it. So what I do is I work the cost of shipping into the cost of my item. So if I'm going to sell an item for $30 plus $5 shipping, I'll just sell it for $35 free shipping. It's the same exact thing. It makes the buyer think they're getting something for free when they're not. It's like a buy one, get one at Publix. They give you buy one, get one on hot dogs, but the cost of bread is like twice as expensive as the other store. So really you're not getting a buy one, get one. It's the same exact way. Next up is a men's Bonobos shirt, $6.96 is what I paid for this. The only reason I picked this up is because it had this cool crow, uh, crow pattern to it. Um, sold this one for 25 bucks. No problem. Thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. All right. Throw this in an eBay poly mailer, and then we'll throw it on the scale. This one's going to weigh nine ounces, so we'll plug that into eBay. I'll try and be quick today. This is going to Texas. It's going to cost $5.04 to ship. <clears throat> eBay's taking a little bit today. eBay's a little slow. It's a Monday. All right, we still got 20 orders to pack. 20 eBay orders to pack. Ugh. We're not even at the halfway point yet. All right, let's go. Let's get a better. Oh, I, got, I forgot to grab a suit out of the closet. I might have you go grab it. Or you can talk to chat while I grab it either way. I have a question for chat. Um, let me do this one really quick and then you can ask chat. Next up is a Polo Ralph Lauren solid white dress shirt. I picked this up for seven bucks. It sold for $31.49. 
you're exhausted just watching this. I am too. Uh, do you do you do better with retail arbitrage or thrifted use? I make higher margins on thrifted, um, but um, new with tag stuff tends to sell a little bit faster. So pick your poison, whatever you want to, whatever you want to pick. Do you want faster sales, but do you want to pay up for your items or do you want thrifted items where you pay less, but sometimes they sit around for a little bit longer, but your margins are, you know, a lot better. This is going to go for 10 ounces and it is shipping to, see, I already have 10 ounces plugged into this. So all I have to do is press print. It's going to South Carolina for $4 and 81 cents. I was told um, cost is to use free boxes from UPS to cover. I was told it costs to use free. It, it doesn't, well, you have to pay for your labels. They're, the boxes are free, but you have to pay for your labels. These are first class. There is no first class boxes or envelopes from the US, USPS. So you have to use your own. Um, and obviously you can buy these pretty cheap. They're just poly bags. So if you need some poly bags, I have them linked in my bio. You can purchase them through Amazon through my links. All right. Um, you want to ask chat your question. I'll go grab this really quick. I got to grab a suit really quick. Kayla is going to come over here and hang out with you guys while I go grab a suit. How did you get into this? Um, I, uh, I was working at the post office and I was looking for a side hustle. I fell across a rally roots video, which is a YouTuber R A L L I roots. They go to thrift stores. I saw their stuff and I was like, Hey, I'm going to try this out. I did it. That's the end of the story. Now I'm here. All right. Go ahead. Wow. That was, <laughs> That was quick. Okay. All right. I have a question. I can't think of the name of what this is called. Is this a shawl? Is this a, it's not a cardigan. It's like an open knit, not even knit. It's like an open, it just goes over your top. What is this called? What is the name? Cover up kimono. Okay. Let me write these down. I know I'm like right there, but I will forget in like three seconds. It's a cape. <laughs> Eileen Fisher, superhero cape. Uh, Kimono. Hold on. What was the other one? Shawl. See, that's what I typed in, and that's not what I'm finding over here on eBay. Shacket. No, it's too light Shacket. to be a, a jacket or a coat. It's an Eileen Fisher. It's a linen silk. Like, yeah, like cover up, I guess. Duster. Duster. That sounds familiar. Duster. You guys are awesome. I've literally been sitting there. I tried to do this one like the other day and I was like, I just didn't have the energy to try and find what the name is for. And hey, Trisha. <clears throat> this is nice. Nice Eileen Fisher cardigan, you think? I don't know. I thought maybe it was too too light. You think cardigan? I could try typing that in and see. It is super cute. Just can't figure out what to call it. Oh my god, it's so cute. It is. I got my words. All right, I'm gonna go try these on. It's so cute. Oh my let god. You know what I find. It's a cover up. Everybody's saying cover up. Cover up. We got Komodo. We got Duster. All right, I got oh my god, here. It's so cute. Take my thumb back and keep stealing. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, let's see. It's a cardigan. I'm a reseller too. They said it's a cardigan. All right. Next up is a, I don't know how to pronounce this. Dever, is it Deveru? Deverex? Dever, Deveru? Devero? Devero? I have no freaking clue. Um, this brand. I picked this up in a bulk buy um, from my golf guy. Paid $9.72 for this. This sold, sold for 30 bucks. It is brand new with tags. Not a great brand though, but it was new. So that kind of helped it. So it's called a wrap. It's called a long cardigan. We got everything. It's called a cardigan. There's something here. Devereaux. 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 Um, this is going to be over a pound. So it is going to go padded flat rate. Cannot go first class because it's over a pound. Uh, can we still offer free shipping if we go through the global shipping program? Yes. You ship to the center and then the buyer pays from the global shipping center to wherever they live. So yes, you can still offer free shipping. Um, this is padded envelope, $8.30. I should have shipped this regular envelope. I'm just now noticing that after I purchased the label, it's going to Florida. So if I would have used a regular envelope, I would have saved myself about 30 cents, but that's okay. At least it's out and gone. Eileen Fisher open front cardigan. My husband just handed me something to send to Joey. Ooh, what is it? What? That's what Trisha said. 
Joe Joe Bro? Joe Bro's at school. Finally, that kid's at school. <laughs> Jesus. Get him out of here. That little, that little fool again. All right, next up, we got a men's um, Harley Davidson uh, flannel. I paid $8.03 for this. It sold for $35. <clears throat> Thank you for over, the info. No problem. I'll go over Duster. Duster. That's what I get. PJ Masks toy. Oh, he likes PJ Masks. Oh, PJ Masks. It's a PJ Masks. We're going to TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. Not Marshalls. Going to TJ Maxx. Not Marshalls. God, that gets stuck in my head. Number one reseller. You are the number one reseller. All right. This is shipping for 15 ounces. Whoops. On first class. Appreciate everybody um, hanging out on both platforms. If you guys aren't following already, hit the follow button. If you're over on YouTube, if you could, let me see how many people are on YouTube right now. I've got 22 people hanging out. If you guys haven't hit the like button yet. All you have to do is X out of the uh, X out of the chat and then hit the like button. Then you can come right back and chat it up. But um, I'd appreciate it if you hit that uh, hit that like button for me. It does good stuff for the YouTube algorithm. If you're on TikTok, just tap the screen. I don't know if it does anything for the TikTok algorithm, but if I see that number goes up, um, I feel good inside. So. That's, that's all it does for me. It's not a duster. Dusters are long, almost to the floor. Okay, it's not a duster because it doesn't dust the floor. That's why they're called a duster because they dust the floor as you walk. Where, I need Riz. See, women have such Riz weird names out. for stuff. Why, is, why do you have yeah. such weird names? Why can't it just be a top? I'm like, calling it a cover. Gosh, a guy wears a shirt. We call them all shirts. Every one of them is called a shirt. There's a polo, there's a long sleeve, and a short sleeve shirt. That's it. Goodness gracious, you you ladies in the chat. All right, next up, this was a really, really good sale. Shout out to the Spanx Queen. Um, we paid $13.91 for these Spanx. They were brand new with tags. They were a size small. They sold for $75. Really good sale on that one. This might be over a pound, though. It is over a pound, so it's going to go pad a flat rate. Risner would know. Risner knows everything. Risner, not Risner, it's Risner. It's a lightweight knit open front cardigan. There you go. And I'm just calling a shirt top. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is what it is. You ladies, so confusing. You have different names for just about everything. All right. It's going to go padded flat rate because it's over a pound. It is shipping for $8.30. Yeah, Reisner. I have Spanx. Uh, not a single view. Our Spanx sell. Make sure you're picking up the pants, though. The leggings, I think, sit for a little bit longer. But if you pick up those pants, I've sold used Spanx pants for almost 100 bucks. When you get bigger sizes, they fly. They fly. Still here taking photos. There you go, Trav. Take those photos. All right, there we go. That one is shipped. We're done on 16 orders. All right, let's do another double order really quick. Actually, no, let's do this one. This is a men's North Face jacket. We did squeeze it into this nice envelope. Um, we paid $10.70 for this. This one sold for 52 bucks. 52 bucks. Yeah, their leggings. Yeah, the leggings tend to sit a little bit longer, so that's probably why. This one has to go into an envelope. It is just over a pound, but it's actually going to be cheaper to put in an envelope because this person lives in Tennessee. Where'd you get your desk work table? I got this from Facebook Marketplace. I highly suggest if you guys need any like desk equipment or anything like that, always look on Facebook Marketplace first because there's always businesses closing down. And this is exactly how we got both of these because my wife has the same exact one. These things are awesome. They have plug ports in the corner. Like I had to um, print out some stuff this morning. So I literally just plugged in my printer right there and um, printed it out. But um, yeah, we got these off Facebook. I think we paid, I want to say it was like 500 bucks a piece or something like that. No, it was like 400 each. Yes, four, yeah, 400 each is what we paid. And these things retail for like, with all the attachments that these desks have, they retail for over a thousand. So we got them really cheap. And to be honest, they look like they were barely used. So Facebook Marketplace. And these are called, the, the desk name is called Fully, F-U-L-L-Y. If you wanted to purchase them for any reason off the internet, F-U-L-L-Y. New to eBay, a person matches me and they want uh, three items. How do I do that? They can just purchase the three items in one transaction and then it'll automatically bundle it together. If they don't and they do it separately, then you'll have to bundle it together and ship it out together. So it's actually really easy on eBay. Damn, this weighs one pound. It's, this is 1.02 ounces. Should, should I just keep this at a pound and go first class chat? I'm going to let you decide. I don't think the pers uh, the post office would catch this. It's literally 1.02. I'm going to put out a pound. It's going to go first class. I think I'm going to roll the dice. It's literally, it's literally a pound. It's 1.02. 
It's like inch. Yeah, they, they wouldn't catch this anyway. Shh, don't tell them. Shh, don't tell them, Chad. Six dollars and twenty-two cents. Otherwise, it would be like seven bucks. Yeah, do it. I always do. Yeah, I always feel bad about it, but I shouldn't because I worked at the post office and they're not a very good company. So, you rebel, you. Everybody's saying you rebel. It's .02. It's like barely. I was going to ask you um, if you paid the weight. Paid by the weight. When I do labels, yeah, I pay by the weight. Um, post office does weight and ounce, uh, weight and dimensions. Whatever's greater on their end is what they charge you for. All right, I'll put this up there. Next item we're shipping out is a pair of brand new tag men's Joe's jean pants. Joe's jean pants. That sounds weird. Um, paid twenty bucks for these. These sold for fifty bucks. These are going to go padded flat, right? Yeah, your scale probably isn't accurate. That's probably that's what I'll tell the post office if they complain about it. I'll say, you know what, my scale wasn't accurate. All right, let me get away with that 0.2 of an ounce. We're actually making good progress, people. As long as this mailman doesn't show up in the next like 15 minutes, I think we'll be good. Um, don't want the buyer to have to pay anything when it arrives. Yeah, but it's literally 0.02. And if you guys know how the post office like calculates the overage, they calculate it only on the scale that's at the uh, plant. So unless the scale picks it up and these things are flying through the scale, unless the scale picks up that little bit of a difference, they won't ever charge you for it. So to be honest, it really doesn't matter. Kayla's feeling better. Yeah, Kayla's doing better. She's doing better than she was last night. She zonked out last night. Snoring and everything, right? Nice and loud. Nice and loud. Loud and proud. All right. There's that. There's that. Really good sale right here. Be on the lookout for these. I see people price these way too low, and I'm going to tell you, don't do it. So we have uh, Peter Millar Summer Comfort. This is a Tor logo polo. It has a really good design on it. This one sold for 70 bucks. This one is the same kind, but it has a nice cowboy pattern on. This one sold to the same buyer for 70 bucks. I paid $9.72 each for those. So uh, $9.72 times two, that's like less than 20 bucks. And these sold for $140. So really good sale on that one. And I'm going to combine this shipping because, yeah, the buyer paid for two. So I'm going to combine it. And this is going to go padded flat rate because I, I want to make sure this item arrives safe and sound. So I'm going to use priority mail padded envelope. And this is going to ship out for $8.30. What brand were they? Peter Millar. Peter Millar Summer uh, Summer Comfort Tour Logo Polos. Tour Logo means they have a patch on the sleeve. I do have a video here on TikTok going over um, the patch and what it means and all that stuff. So go check out that video. If you're new here, I have tons of videos going over exactly what I do. Um so yeah, watch the videos. I literally give out free information. There is no courses or anything like that. I, I learned for free, so I give away for free. All free info. All right, so these will slide right into this padded flat rate. They were over a pound, so they would have had to go priority anyway. But I might as well throw them in a padded flat rate because this person did pay a ton for these polos. So appreciate the follow beach. First class, um, you get plus or minus three ounces. Okay. So I should be fine. There we go. That one is shipped. Next up, a not so great sale. At least it's sold though. Um, these are a pair of women's Nike golf shorts. I thought they were men's because they were in the men's section when I first bought them. Um, but I didn't read the size and I should have. Um, these were a women's size 14 Nike golf shorts. Um, I paid $5.34. They sold for 20 bucks. I still made a profit, but I wouldn't pick these up. I just missed them. So do you shop the bins? No, I only shop retail stores like the racks, I guess that people call them, or I do retail arbitrage or I do bulk buys on Facebook marketplace as well. Here's a daily question. What is whatnot? <laughs> Scott, how do you not know what whatnot is yet? you made one of our biggest purchases last night. Scott, your, your purchase was actually decent. Okay. I could fit it into a regular priority box. The other two that bought the, uh, that bought the reseller boxes, bought a whole bunch of stuff. And I literally had to like find a box big enough for all their stuff. It was insane, insane. But again, appreciate all the support last night and whatnot. It was a lot of fun. Who, who asked that? Was that Felix? 
Yeah, Felix, I buy my new items from your house. So if you guys really want to buy new items, just contact Felix. He's in the chat right now. He'll sell you all new items. Just contact him. He'll sell them to you. Why not storage units? Um, uh, they are uh, money makers. Um, I don't do storage units because I don't have enough room to store all the crap that comes with the storage unit. So if you guys know how storage unit works, you're going to get a lot of good stuff, but you're going to get more crap than you get good stuff. And I don't have a way to process that. So I, I do everything out of my house. All my inventory, everything is stored here at the house. I don't have to, I don't have it offsite. So we love Kayla. I know you guys love Kayla. Oh, I love you guys. That's what Scott said. Um, how do you keep from buying um, fencers on Facebook? What do you mean by that? Fencers? What are fencers? I have no clue what that is. Can you explain USPS boxes and how they work, please? All the USPS boxes are going to be either Priority Mail or Priority Mail um, Priority Mail Express. Um, some of them are flat rate. The flat rate run ones do uh, run for a flat rate. So, for example, this is a padded flat rate envelope. So anything that fits in this ships on eBay for $8.30, no matter where it's going. Um, and then there's regular boxes. Those go off weight and dimensions. So you'll put in your weight dimensions as you ship. So just make, you, make sure you know the difference between flat rate and regular rate um, boxes. I'm sure you can just type it in YouTube and there'll be tons of videos on them. Um, but that's like a little short synopsis. So we'll sell to you in bulk. What do you want to sell to me in bulk? I would recommend you get with a storage buyer because a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I do have a person that I bought off before that lives locally. Um, the only issue is they don't really know what sells well on eBay. So they end up like selling me like they're like, oh, I have all these clothes to sell to you. And I'll go there and I'll look what they have. And they don't really have any really good clothes. It's like a bunch of junk. So it ends up being a huge waste of my time. So. All right. Next up, we got a women's Spanx or not Spanx, Victoria's Secret bra. We picked this up for six dollars and 42 cents. This is shipping out for twenty nine ninety nine. I tried it on. It didn't fit. So we didn't end up selling it. <laughs> um, where do you, where do you sell the mountain hardware items? So wells, where do you sell the mountain hardware items? So wells, I don't know what that means, but we sold one. Um, we've already packed it up on this live. I sold a men's mountain hardware puffer vest for 112 bucks. I think it was. So I normally sell them on eBay when I sell them. Mountain hardware tends to move a little bit better on eBay. All right, this one's shipping for $4.24 going to Texas. Bras are super easy to list, super easy to ship. So if you guys aren't picking up bras, 100%, pick them up. Why padded instead of just a standard flat rate envelope? I use paddeds. I know you can use standard ones and they are cheaper, but I like paddeds. They are a little bit more expensive, but they add that padding to your items. So that way they're not going to get damaged in shipment. Um, as a mailman, I will say that the padded, the non-padded version are a lot harder to actually stuff in a mailbox. So a lot of times anything that's in there will get, get crammed in the mailbox and shoved in. Whereas the padded envelope is much more um, durable and it's much more flimsier. Like the, the regular ones are like cardboard. So they'll just fold and they'll get crammed. Um, and they also rip very easily too. Whereas these, you will never have an issue with them actually opening up in shipment. I have never as a mailman seen one of those open up in shipment. But the other ones I saw all the time open. Where do you list your stuff? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook. If you're new here, hit the follow button. Go watch some of my content. I got tons of content on exactly what I do. Next up is a men's Robert Graham shirt. This one still has the hanger in it, so I got to take the hanger out of it. You mind taking the hanger out this one? Too? Just got to open it up from the bottom. Pop it out. I sold two of these this weekend. Um, I'm guessing these are probably like Easter outfits. Um, but yeah. Robert Graham picked these up retail arbitrage, which means I bought them from a retail store. These are actually online arbitrage. I bought them from a retail store online to resell. Well, check it out. Awesome. Appreciate you hanging out. All right. Give me one second. I got to take the hanger out. They ship them with the hangers on the inside of them, which can be kind of annoying. But I do like to keep the hangers because I use them for whatnot. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this up and I'm going to stick it in an envelope. This one I paid $33.67 for. I sold for $65. I literally bought like 40 of these and I'm about halfway sold out of them. So it's just like four listings I had to make and it's just constant money coming in. So 
Great content. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys have a great show. Appreciate you. Great show last night. Awesome. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Everybody who was hanging out last night. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. All right. Now is the hard part of shoving this in the envelope. Here we go. Slowly but surely, it will fit. How many, how many items do you sell on average daily? Um, it's normally like right around 10 to 11 items per day is what I average. I have to do my spreadsheet uh, probably tomorrow, update my spreadsheet because I didn't really update it much last month. Um, and then I'll be able to tell you like my totals and all that stuff. So pre appreciate the uh, follow simply. Thank you so much. All right. This is going to ship out for 10 ounces. You buy only new attacks? No, we have, we have a bunch of used items we've already packed up. Uh, you'll see a couple more used items that we have to pack up still too. Surf's Up is in Mexico. Let's go. I think that's Mexico's flag, right? Surf's Up is in Mexico, hanging out. He, he went on a cruise. He's cruising right now. I'm so jealous right he's, now. he's surfing right now. Surfing on the high seas. I want to go on a cruise. I think Jamie's on a cruise too. I'm going to go on a cruise. See, you're going to make me have to go take her on a cruise. Thanks, We're going on surf a cruise. Up. Next cruise we are. Next up, another one of these Robert Graham shirts. This one sold for uh, 60 bucks. I took a best offer on this one. Um, 33.67 again. You fixed Poshmark? No, I haven't fixed Poshmark yet. Poshmark still hasn't. I think they messaged me back, messaged me back last night. I got to look at their message. But yeah, they. I still haven't fixed it, unfortunately. All right, that one is in the poly mailer. And this thing is difficult. Difficult to shove in there. Huh? You're about to say something dirty, weren't you? You're about to say something dirty. She was about to say something dirty. Definitely. She don't. forgot that we were on live. You saw what just happened, people? She forgot we were on live. I don't want you to get put in time around to stop myself. <laughs> she was this close. <laughs> yep. That's what that was, people. Uh, you thought I was a bad one. You don't know Kayla. <laughs> uh, everybody's laughing. At least I stopped myself. You did. You, were, you, <laughs> you, you, forgot. you totally forgot we were on live for a second. I I aye, aye. Be that bad. All right. Innocent Kayla. I know she's not as innocent. Yes, I think she is. All right. Next up. Magpool. Magpool is a really awesome brand. Um, this one sat for a little bit, but I've sold jackets in this brand for close to a hundred bucks. Um, this is just a basic like long sleeve shirt. Paid four twenty eight for this and it sold for twenty five. The good part about Magpool shirts, if you want to see what the logo looks like, go look at my eBay store. Just look at my sales. Um, the logo is not. Uh, it's kind of looks like um, kind of reminds me of like a five eleven tactical logo. So stores don't look, really price it up. So this close, this close. Hi yeah yeah. Wasn't even gonna be that bad. Yeah. Okay. You've made the joke before. I just did not get it. Said the eighteen. I do have a set eighteen plus. Oh, you could say that's what she said. Oh, you were just about to say that's. Oh, I thought you were saying something else. No. Oh, okay. I mean, there's plenty of things that came to mind. <laughs> that's what she said. It's the only. Thing. Oh, gotcha. All right, it's going for twelve ounces. Magpul, yes. Uh, M A G P U L. M A G P U L. Again, if you want to know what the logo looks like. My eBay store is linked in my bio. You guys can always see what I have listed and you can see what I've sold for the last 90 days. So that's all free information just on my eBay store. So you sold it for less. Uh, well, I paid $4.28 for it. I sold it for $25. It was just a long sleeve shirt. It's not a jacket, so it's not going to go for close to $100. Um, but yeah, I had it listed for $35. I took a $25 offer. So, I mean, I paid $4.28, turning that into $25. Even after fee shipping cost of goods, I should make about $15 profit is awesome all right another bra sold this is another victoria's secret bra this was a size 34a victoria's secret push-up blue lace underwire um we paid three dollars and 21 cents for this and it sold for 17 dollars. very quick easy listing easy to ship all that good stuff you enter dimensions for poly bags i do have the dimensions already put into my ebay i have them 11 by 9 by 2 to be honest, if it's first class, the dimensions don't really matter unless you get like to a like a huge dimension. But normally, if you're going first class, something that's in a big box normally won't go first class because it'll be over a pound. 
But yeah, dimensions on first class, they don't matter. You can put them in just to be safe, but yeah. What are you going to say? I was going to say everything's a little bit. I just looked them up and didn't even bother to tell you. Did what? I said, I was going to say, are these women's? I just looked them up and didn't even look at the... Just forget those it. are Those are women's. $3.81 is what it's going to cost me to ship that out. Um, has Kayla listened to any of her swimwear yet? I don't think so. We just got that last the week. The so. Lulu top was in whatnot last week. Yeah, the Lulu top we sold in whatnot. I think that was our only piece of swimwear we, we actually picked up. Stuff. Yeah, the other stuff we didn't pick up because the comps didn't look amazing. So, about um, how about Peter Millar that have country club golf embroidered on the front? Do they sell? They do sell, but they don't sell as well as the ones without the golf club embroidery. Obviously, people don't want like a random golf club on their chest. So, all right, let's ship out this train. This is a caboose train. Pick this up in a bulk buy. If you want to watch that video, it's up on my YouTube channel. Paid $3.25 per train in that bulk buy. This one was one of the lower end ones. It sold for $10 plus shipping, which is still decent. I mean, these are super easy to list, super easy to ship. I'm just going to throw it in one of these boxes. They look like pizza boxes. I got these from Amazon. If you want to buy these, I do have them linked in my bio. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and throw it right in there just like that. And then as you can see, there is some void space around it. So I'm going to make sure I throw some um, paper, packing paper around it. So that way it doesn't move around in shipment. Tommy Bahama jeans. I don't normally pick up Tommy Bahama jeans, no. There's a pair of Jordan ones over there. Can you grab it for me there? Um, size seven and, or eight and a half. There should be in a Jordan one box. Can't find them all. Show them off. There's a pair of Jordan ones over there. Um, eight and a half. Probably in the middle somewhere. So eight and a half. Can you see them? It might be in one of those. It might be in that box up there too. That box to the right. Top. Box? Yeah, that box might be in there. Eight ounces. Appreciate the follows. You offer free shipping on all your items? No. So this this I charge shipping on. Are those? Yeah, that's what I want. Jordan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those are probably it because they got returned. Yeah, those are it. You just yeah, stick them right there because I can just ship them out right there. All right, this is going to ship for $4.44. Buyer paid $6.65 for shipping. Any tips on how to make a uh, small photo station? I'm currently looking one to make one. So go watch um, um, my boy Thrifting Treasures. He made a video on how to make a small, like, do-it-yourself photo box. It is probably pretty far in his feed, but he has really good videos. If you're not following Thrifting underscore Treasures, go follow him. He has a video on how to make one. Here on good old Tiki Talk. That one is shipped. All right, next up, I'm glad to see these go. I've had these listed forever, like literally forever, like almost since I was born, pretty much. Um, I paid $8.56 for these. These are New Balance um, cleats. They are brand new with tags. I picked them up, I think, from Burlington. Paid $8.56 for these. Burlington or Ross, I can't remember. $8.56, and these sold for $30. bucks. i have literally had these listed forever. I'm so happy to see these gone. Like you guys don't even understand how happy I am to see these gone. I'm just going to throw these into a shoe box. We'll ship them out that way. So be right back. Okay, Monique, I'll, I'll wait for you. Um, I can hear the um, mailman's footsteps. I know. I have to ship out. I have to at least get the next like three items shipped and then uh, we're good to go. And then he can come because the other items sold today. So it doesn't have to ship today. He's coming. His footsteps. Uh, let me lower this really quick. Track spikes, yep. They do have the track spikes on the inside of the shoes. Don't worry, I checked before I bought them. And I also checked before I brought them in here because they've been listed forever. I didn't know if they might have fell out. All right, so this is going to go right into here. This is going to go right into here. And then we're going to throw some paper in there. And it should be good to go. Lady eyes flat for... 
or would you say using a mannequin? I don't use a mannequin for any men's items because men don't really care about mannequins. Um, but uh, I use a I use a photo booth. So if you ever if you come to my live tonight, you'll see exactly like the setup I have. So I'm going to do some photos tonight on live. But um, I use a walk-in light box. I use that thing right there, and I hang my items in there, and then that's how I take my photos. So appreciate the follow. Thrifting underscore treasures. Yes, came up as a lady. Thrifting treasures comes up out of the lady. Thrifting treasures. Who who knows is is it thrifting tre maybe it's thrifting treasure. Maybe it's just treasure, not treasures. Yeah, it's treasure. My bad. Maybe it's I, I said treasures. That's my bad. You'll see his videos. When you go watch his videos, you're gonna be like, man, this guy knows how to make videos. If only I can make videos like Thrifting Treasure. All right, so this is going priority. It is two pounds, $11.62. No S, yeah, no S, my bad. You put in measurements on all in all your listings? Um, yeah, so this one, I know it's gonna go in a shoe box, so I put 15 eight by eight by six. All my poly mailer ones I do. If it's like an oddball, though, there's nobody like K-Way Shop. All right, so we got four more items to ship. Um, these and I forgot to take off um, return shipping. They, they return these to me. Um, I paid $181 for these. These only sold for $189. I bought these for myself, but we ended up buying the wrong size. So I had to sell these and these don't really have great resale value. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to lose a little bit of money on these, but that's okay. But this is a really, really nice shoe. Size eight and a half. Because these were returned, I literally don't really have to pad these up any. I'm going to throw a little bit of packing material in there because eBay doesn't like to pack them up very well. And then these are going to go through um, FedEx. So that means we got to drop them off at a Walgreens. Do you mind um, taking that suit after you're done with that and just throwing that suit into like two big poly bags? There's a pair of pants in there too. The suit that's hanging up to the left, yeah, that one. I it out for this moment it comes. All right, so because this show sold through the um, Authenticity Guarantee Program, I get a free shipping label from eBay. They provide the shipping label. All I have to do is ship it to Nevada, and they will be able to. Why is it has dimensions put in here? Dimensions. Where's your um thing? 16, 12, 6. 16, 12, 6. For some reason, it had me put dimensions. It must be something new. But that's okay. Get free label. Am I frozen? I'm not frozen. I should be good. Am I really frozen? It says I'm good on my end. It must be TikTok. On my end, I'm good. Can't hear you. YouTube got muted. Internet went out? No. Am I still frozen? No, not you not on YouTube okay we're good on YouTube take it to office Depot too yeah YouTube leave me a thumbs up YouTube am I good so just TikTok this time I mean my internet where our internet has been like amazing so hopefully it's not messing up again it's not flashing or anything over here so oh wait I can hear and you see you okay flash? everybody says we're good what is it flashing the bottom is flashing what color it's just great. Yeah, we're good. Oh. No, you're good. Yeah, the modem's good. We should be good. TikTok, can you see me? Everybody's dropping like flies on TikTok. Oh, well, we'll keep going. I can't stop now. You can't hear anything? That's weird. I don't know. What's over here? Yeah. Have to, I'll, I'll have to run over to him. Our dog's ain't good. I got two more items, so I'm going to have to track him down. Here, you want to run these out to him really quick? So you can at least get these, and I'll just run the other ones. I'll just run the other ones to uh, the other store. What's your... All, oh. um, this stuff. Here. All this stuff. There you go. Good to go. Run that out to him, and I'll try to finish packing this up really quick. I might be able to get this out to him, too. 
This is actually, damn, I should have packed up the other thing instead of the shoes first. Oh, well. Almost got everything out to him. You froze. You were going to say uh, about the shoes. I forget what I was saying about the shoes. I should be good now, right? Just TikTok? Okay. Yeah, it's just TikTok. I had to completely exit YouTube and come back. Okay. That's weird. I don't know. On, on our end, the uh, internet said it was good. I got two. Well, these I have to like oh. pack up. You can get that suit wrapped up. We'll take that out to him and then get the suit wrapped up, wrapped up. I might be able to get him on the other side of the street. I'll run it out to him. I'm going to sprint because I don't want to have to go to the store today. <clears throat> All right, quick packing. Quick packing right here. This is a uh, Christmas house. I paid 15 bucks for this. It sold for $112.49 plus shipping. I would show you the Christmas house, but I already started wrapping it because now we're speed. We're on speed right now. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why my uh, why TikTok throws, but we're good over here. I got a I got a brand new router, and this thing is amazing. We haven't had knock on wood any issues, zero issues. Everything's been running smooth. It's a Linksys. We found out the other router that we had it had a uh, had a fan broken in it, so it kept overheating. All right, so that goes there. This goes here. Throw that in there. All right. Uh oh. Excuse me. Wow. Right on the line. Throw some packing paper in there. So that one is packed up. Let's see how fast I can pack these next orders. Uh, why did the customer return the shoes you left us? In oh, uh, they didn't fit. And I forgot to take off. Normally on those Nikes, I do no returns. But that one I forgot. So they were able to return it. This one's shipping out for $11.65. Is he still outside? Yep. All right, cool. All right, we got one more to go out. This one doesn't have to go out today, so I can ship that one tomorrow. And show it on live, but we'll ship it tomorrow. That one is ready. And then last up is this Buccaneers house. I picked this up locally. I paid 15 bucks for it, sold for 30 bucks plus shipping. Okay, cool. <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I'm sure. Still stuff that I have bench, so. I'm sure he's like. And like we have, we have people, boxes. These people always have all this crap. You're gonna do soup? Oh yeah, I did do the soup. What am I doing? I just said I don't have to do this, and I'm gonna do this. Okay. All right. Give me no, you just grab that, so you better hurry up. Um, soup needs to go on one of these. There's tons of boxes outside, though. So. He saw he saw his box of crap. No, he just grabbed it. All of them? Yeah. He delivered the box. Oh, good. All right. This is a men's Brooks Brothers suit. We paid $5.34 for this and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. This is gonna go into a party mailbox. Um no, you, you might need to uh, just meet him on the other side of the street. Yeah. Should be able to get this one up. Yeah, you have to meet him. But it'll be good. It'll be All right, this is going to ship for three pounds. Is it a 15 by eight by six box? No, I think it's a different box. Hold on. Three pounds. This one is 10 by seven by five.
and it is shipping to California. Of course, it's going to California. It's shipping for $17.90, but they paid shipping, so we're good. Almost done. I might be able to get this last one packed up. Probably shouldn't risk it. You want to hang out with chat for a minute, and then um, I'll come back and pack that one up. We'll ship that one tomorrow. He just it would take him a minute to go all the way around. No. Yeah, I'm gonna go hang out on the other side. Hang out with chat for a minute. Okay. Hi guys. What's up, everybody? He's gonna go stand outside, but it's gonna take a hot minute. <clears throat> Great show last night, guys. Thanks, Hanau. It was fun. Well, I didn't get on camera too much, but I will next time, Saturday. We're going to go back to Saturdays. Oh, there's YouTube. It's weird. He has you guys pushed to the side. Is it still frozen or anything? I hope not, because we just got a new router. I hope it's not frozen. Hi, Kayla. Can I get your handle? It's K the Book Nerd on um, TikTok and Instagram. Um, YouTube, it's K-Way Shop. Uh, we do it together. You're good. Okay, good, good. I'm glad. <sighs> Looks and sounds fine. I'm good on YouTube. Okay, good. Thank you. I don't know. He was saying it was like freezing, but I hope not. <laughs> I can't handle these internet issues. There was a guy, um, I couldn't see what his shirt was, but he was climbing up on a ladder messing with like the wires and I was trying to be nosy, but it wasn't working. So I was trying to figure out like who he was. I'm like, is that Spectrum? Are they going to fix the internet? Maybe, maybe Felix don't even, we're not frozen. I hope not. Ah. I enjoyed the show last night. My wife said I'm crazy. No, Scott, thank you. Thank you for everything. You're so awesome. <clears throat> I wonder. My phone just went off. JK. Yeah. I was just about to say, we, you know, we just had this conversation. How is everybody today? I'm just getting a bunch of drafts done finally. I didn't work at all last week because the baby was sick. Of course, no, I don't feel all that great, but I do feel much better. <clears throat> so I can actually work this week. Today is catch up day for missing all last week. <clears throat> what system do you use for your vacuum sealing, your apparel? Uh, we push it down and the air comes out and then it seals the clothes into the bag. I wish I, I could have just showed you. I already wrapped everything the other day. Let me see. We just put it in the bag and then you just push. So it kind of just seals it tighter into the bag. If that's what you meant. We don't have any special vacuum sealing stuff. Froze. Scott, don't even, don't even. <clears throat> Well, wow, that was really good timing, though. The mailman showed up right when he said. He said about an hour, and that is when the mailman showed up. Right at the hour mark. Let me see. Let me show you guys what I was just drafting. Unfortunately, though, I did notice some things. I was drafting this Visconti shirt. But I did just notice. Let me show you what I noticed. Half the button is missing, so... I need to get that. And then on the other shirt, we just don't even have a button. So that's fabulous. I should try to button this down, though. Is there a missing button here? No. Other than that, the shirt is great. Just right. missing buttons. We got them all out. Thank God. Thank God. I think I kept everybody entertained for three minutes. You did good. Well, you keep them, you can keep them entertained for a little bit longer. I'm going to wrap this up really quick. <clears throat> this one doesn't have to go out today because we... Uh, we got this order this morning, so technically it doesn't have to go out till tomorrow, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, the Buccaneers? Yeah, it's a Buccaneers house. It's a Buccaneers Christmas house. You can see right there. It's a stadium piece. It's missing all the flags. Otherwise, this one would probably go for like 100 bucks, but uh, it was missing all the flags, so what are, still sell. What are some women's brands that sell good? Um, for us, Spanx and Eileen Fisher definitely sell for us very well. I love picking up Eileen Fisher. I don't know why I'm trying to button this. Half a button. Athleta sells well for us. Uh, Lululemon, of course, sells well for us. The Victoria's Secret Bras are doing pretty well. Yep, sold two of those this weekend. Yeah. And one of them I listed, I thought I listed kind of high. I've been practicing putting the numbers in for all the women's stuff. Just 
learning to price stuff out. Not I price. thought I priced it too high, but it sold price. full price. So that worked out. You have to ship in 24 hours. So Kelly wants to know. Mm -hmm. You have to ship in 24 hours. Um, so all my eBay listings have one day handling. So Poshmark <laughs> and Mercari don't really matter, but eBay does. Um, so yeah, because it has one day handling, I have to ship within 24 hours on eBay. This one's missing a button and half a button. The button was. Wah, wah, wah. That's all right. <clears throat> Anyone resell Mont Blank? Did I say that right? Mont Blank? Mont Blank? I don't know what brand that is. Not Mont sure. Blank. I've never. Can you get your software installed on your computer. For Poshmark, I think they're asking about Poshmark. No, oh. so I'm still waiting for Poshmark to hit me back about that. Yeah. Hopefully they get it fixed. Hopefully they do because I need them to fix it. To get out of the way so everybody can see you do your you scooch yep. over YouTube. This is the last you. last bit, it's the last I item. See you. All 34 sales have been packed. I need to eat some lunch. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. Measure and take back. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it just looks the other side. My bad. All right, this one is shipping out for three pounds. I just got to hop over to eBay really quick, put in three pounds, and we're good to go. How do you get eBay tape? I do have a link in my bio if you want to purchase from eBay. It is pretty expensive. Um, so I'd suggest just getting Amazon tape. But if you really, really want eBay tape, I do have a link to my bio. By the way, if you do have an eBay store subscription, um, you can just click that link. It'll take you right to the store and you can just use your code. So um, those of you who have a uh, have an eBay store, your code is available because it is quarter two right now, quarter two. Um, so yeah, use that code link in my bio. Just click on it and just buy your buy your stuff. This is going to Satellite Beach, Florida, $7.64. There we go. That is done. That craziness. That was That was like speed packing right at the end. It's too bad I couldn't get this one out today. It would have been at the buyer's door probably by tomorrow, but oh well, we tried. Tell us again, where do you find all your resale items? I get most of my items from thrift stores. Um, some items come from retail stores, um, but yeah, a little bit of everything. If, you, if you're if you new here, watch my videos. I have a ton of content here for free going over exactly what I do and how I find my stuff. We have a basic store. Um, do I get money off packaging? I think the, the basic store is the, the smallest one and you don't. You don't get any, um, you don't get any discount. Um, maybe try to disconnect Posh account, then reconnect on List Perfect. No, it's not for List Perfectly. But it's not. It has nothing to do with any other sites. It's specifically Poshmark. Poshmark has to figure out on their end how to load my my shoppers. It's literally busted. It doesn't work. And I did it on. I made a brand new Posh account. And I did it on the brand new Posh account. And it worked perfectly fine. So it's actually just my Posh account that's broken. So love. Appreciate the follow. Do you ever buy pallets? I don't buy pallets. Reason being, we've talked about this on live. Most pallet services pick, cherry pick all the good stuff out and they sell you all the stuff that they don't want to sell. Um, I just don't like that. I'd rather go to thrift stores and retail stores, buy the stuff that I know is going to sell. That way I'm not losing money on some things. My mailman said something about printing one sheet. Yeah, you can do that, but we sell on three different sites. So if we just sold on eBay, you could print a scan sheet. So your mailman just scans one barcode and it puts all of your labels into the system. But because we sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot, he had 60 orders, and that would have been um, whatnot doesn't have a scan sheet, I don't believe. eBay is the only one that um, you can print a scan sheet out. So he's going to have to scan almost anything, everything anyway. And I used to be a mailman. I know that scanning 60 items will should only take you about three minutes to do because you're literally just going down and going beep, 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 beep. It's super simple, super easy. It's not like at the register. I know at the register when you go, they got to put each item onto like a scale and scan it. You don't do that when they're doing pickup. If they have a prepaid label, all they use is use a, their scanner and they just scan it. That's it. When did you start? Um, do you do Amazon or eBay? I started uh, a little over four years ago and I do eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and now I sell on whatnot. I don't do Amazon. I have done it in the past. I just, I don't do Amazon. Um, how can I find your store on eBay app? Um, you can type in my eBay handle. I think it's Wayne's Electronics. But I also have it linked in my bio too. So you can just click the link in my bio. It'll take you right to my eBay store. All the products, all the social medias, all my platforms I sell on are all linked in my link tree, which is in my bio. Miss Army, appreciate the follow. 
Look some signs fine on YouTube. Cool. Yeah. For some reason, TikTok went down for a short second, but YouTube was cool the whole time. So that was definitely a TikTok issue, not me. What's up, Miss Humphrey? You just came in right at the end. We just finished up packing. I have to go get something to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and head off. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I'll be live again tonight at 930 over on TikTok. We'll be getting some um, listings done in the light boxes. So if you want to see the listing process, come back tonight, 930. You guys can hang out, watch it all. Again, appreciate you guys so much for the support last night on whatnot. You guys killed it. Uh, we had an awesome show. We're going to be bringing more stuff next week. And we had a request for a mixed reseller box with both men's and women's items. And I'll tell you guys right now, it's going to have at least four brand new attack items in that box. I'm going to put at least two men's and two women's brand new attack items in that box. So that should be awesome. We might run two of those. I don't know. Might, might surprise you guys with an extra one. Um, but yeah, whatnot will be next week, I think on Saturday, right? Yes, yeah, Sunday's Easter. Sunday's Easter. So we're going to be doing our whatnot show on Saturday night. We're going to go back to Saturday. It'll be at 9.30 probably. Pro it might be 8.30. Should we do 8.30 again? I like 8.30. I like 8.30. We'll probably do 8.30 on Saturday. So appreciate it, guys. If you haven't signed up through whatnot, uh, for whatnot, link in my bio. Sign up. You get $15 spend for free. And again, I'll be back on live tonight over on TikTok at 9.30. Uh, not, time zone, we're in Florida. So it's Eastern Standard Time. EST. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Peace out. Y'all have a great day.